Julie Peacock. Hey, Carol, thanks very much. Um, they've been in business almost half a century. The status quo are about to start out on new careers. Don't worry, they're still doing the music. <laughs> they are also becoming film stars. Yes. Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit also about to embark on another tour, and they've just released their 100th single. Not been busy then. Before we hear from them, let's first. Morning, guys. Morning. 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 Look in great shape. <laughs> Men in black. Let's remember their <laughs> fast and furious string of hits. So there you are, doing what comes naturally at uh, Montre. <laughs> and I was anyway. pleased to hear that on the latest time, which is the, the music from the film that you're talking yeah. about, you still play Pictures of Magic Man live. Mm. We did do That was a couple of years ago, I think, and we did a live version. Another band came on or supported us and did it in their encore. Yeah. And we thought it would be a great idea, and uh, so we did a little piece of it. But I love that. I mean, it's a great seminal song for me, because one might... I think my brother had it as a single I first played. I know, going back a while, isn't it? <laughs> but it's such a different sound to the stage. It's such a different sound to what you uh, were on we, we were copying very much then. I mean, trying to write the song, I was trying to copy Jimi Hendrix, and it kind of came out that way. And yeah. this whole thing about fading. And Released before Susanna was I know, born. I'm sorry. You were well, doing that. I'm not sure before I was born, but certainly before I was rocking out to I some of your latest you tracks. Born, 60, was it 67? 67 it was released, yeah. yeah. It was psychedelia then. Yeah, we were, it was kind of confusing because we wanted to play rock music. You know, the, the psychedelic single got us in the door, as it were. So kind of confused people. What's changed over those 40 years for I've you? Got a lot older. <laughs> You've got older. Lost out, yeah. You've decided to, to branch out into into well, making movie. films. Well, someone came, when we did Coronation Street, a guy that came, was. Well, hang on, no, 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 no. When let's, we did Coronation let's Street. Let's rewind. <laughs> You did Coronation Street. We did Coronation Street. You just said that. Yeah. 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 So, so, but, I, but you threw that She's in. So I, I, I think we should just tell us <laughs> about, <the coron> <laughs> <laughs> about the Coronation Street moment. Oh, sorry. We were asked to do Coronation Street. We did Coronation Street. I'm all right then. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. was that? <laughs> about five years, seven years. Six. How many episodes? Wait a minute. I'm getting grilled. <laughs> it was about ten years ago. <laughs> ten years ago. The stunt coordinator, week. Stuart and Paul, who, yeah. who showed us how to beat lead be up. So yeah. I'd like to make a movie with you. So a script came along and it was going to be shot in, uh, in uh, Bangkok. Bangkok and it didn't feel right. We didn't, you know, it just didn't feel right. And then seven years later, this script came along. It was a lot lighter. It was a lot more amusing. And to be shot in Fiji, we looked at one another. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some of that. What's it what we called? called? I don't Bullock, know. Bullock, right. <laughs> you don't know? Bullock. Everybody says bullet in Fiji. All right. Time, bullet. It's, What's it, that mean? It means hello. Hello. All right. Shall we have a look at it? Bullet. Here we go. Fun in Fiji. There is a plot to this film, presumably. Yeah. We see this crook, um, Wilson, played by John Lovitch, and uh, he sets, um, um, what's it called? Russian roulette, and he gets paraffins off the street. Paraffin lamps. Tramp right. And uh, yeah. of course, they get killed in the game, and they harvest the organs and so off, which is quite topical. I That's a serious kind of theme that goes through it. You solve the crime. And then him and I get involved, and it becomes a caper. It becomes a chase. I mean, it's it's got its moments. It's quite funny. I think him and I have pulled it off, you know, for our first uh, oh, for our first sure move you, because oh, we're not, just you know we're at, sitting at home. Yeah, we're not we're not actors, you know. And no. um, we were said we were asked to play ourselves, so we adapted the script. Didn't read it as it was. Just put it how him and I would talk to one another. I think we've I think we've pulled it off. Enjoyable film. Wonderful. Or stressful. It was a bit of both, really, because. I, we haven't worked as hard as well. We've never worked that hard. 
12, 13 hours a day, mm. non-stop, and without any frills. I mean, you know, it was shot shoestring budget, and uh, we didn't have, like, caravans and stuff mm. like that. It was sitting on the pavement uh, between shots. There are scenes of violence. I mean, somebody just suddenly threatens yeah, you with a scrubbing brush at some point. Yeah, I, I was fighting where the car was in the organs in this cellar, and um, we're supposed to get in a fight with these guys, and I get one guy and put him under a tap, under tap and then scrub his head. You scrub brute. Him. I know. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. And there's it's a bit of it. smashing going on over heads and stuff like that. All very serious. Did you bring oh. in a Fijian shirt? Yes, um, this especially because is this what you wear in the film? They, they, they showed us you wear this. That, is that, I think that's a gift for Bill, is it? It's a gift for you. I love the way you work the script out with me. It's fabulous. This is a gift for Bill. <laughs> is this a. <laughs> it's a bullet shirt. Is this it's a, full of. Is this a dare? Are you daring me to put it on? It looks like it, doesn't it? What do you think? Wow. I think there's all sorts of lava involving your. Oh, here we go. You're not wearing your, your bullet shirts, are you? No, well, um, we would tell, so we would tell we'd look ridiculous. Oh, look. That's rather... I'm very glad you gave me this because I've got something to wear at the barbecue now during the <laughs> summer, which is embarrassed my children, which is what the <laughs> shirts are all about. Yeah. Well, if there's any consolation, that's the only one in the world at the moment. So, there you go. And it's worth even more now that you've worn it, Bill. Look at Dish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he said dish. dish. So, we're not going any. For, uh, we should say other Hawaiian shirts are also available. I, I hope so. Fijian. 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 And Fijian shirts, particularly. Sorry about that. Um, yes. You have released your 100th single. Uh -huh. You are touring again. Now, I was interested to read, Francis, that you have not conquered your nerves when it comes to performing. Oh, no, that's the thing I've realised recently. I think it's nerves so much because you would, and I can't function correctly, but I know both of us on show days, there's a, there's a tenseness or something, and the later the day goes on, the closer it gets to the show, I start thinking, I can't do this, I can't do this, I don't know, or I'm fighting something's going to go wrong. But I enjoy, enjoy myself immensely when I'm doing it, and then when you finish, you, you're related well, to finish. It's like work. We're none of us as young as we used to be. Do we are. And I'm just thinking, would, are the fingers still as nimble as, as ever? Well, he uses a practice... Uh, pressure gripper pad uh, gripper before he goes on I don't I just play a bit before I go on and uh, mm. but the, the fingers are not as agile as, as the rest of the body isn't you? Here you are when you were younger that's not you yeah. clearly but you are I used to play drums yeah. <laughs> and uh, when the hair was a little bit longer all right Bill. he keeps hitting the right belt doesn't he <laughs> well, I remember it was a significant decision for you to get with the play belt, wasn't it yeah, well, it passed its sell by date. It was kind of looked like a rat's tail more than a ponytail, wasn't it? If you know, you couldn't. Yes. And it just, I got rid of it. It was yes. lovely. And yeah. when you were in Fiji, you had an issue with your hair. I had didn't a big you? issue, yeah. Well, I had a slight skin complaint before I went out there. So my doctor said, I want to zap it. He said, take some ster steroids. So I took half a dozen of these steroids a day. And the day before we were due to start shooting, mm. comb my hair, and it just all started coming out. Really? Something to do with the steroids, I don't know. Skin cleared up, but this fell out. And I had to have it cut really short because it looked ridiculous. I looked like Wurzel Gump when I got back. And uh, I'm just sort of trying to grow it again now. But yeah. at my age, it doesn't grow as quickly as it used to, you know. So, But I wouldn't have it long again. I like it like this more. Those yeah. days are in the past the time, now, are they? Yeah. Mm. yeah, those days are in the past. I think so, yeah. They're long, 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 flowing long, long, locks. You know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you. <laughs> Yeah. Again, so thanks like very much. Show. I really do like this show. Good, good. Well, I'll give back to you in a second. There you go. <laughs> the album will close out now. The film with the same name. I just selected cinemas on July 5th. I think you're going to take this off. Really. I have a feeling that we, you know, as we are carrying on with the sort of news elements yes. in our programme, that perhaps if we take it off, Thank you. Um, Thank you. The show. and perhaps go. keep it for later, okay. then oh. we can... Oh, oh, better. I feel better now. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, coming up to one minute to nine. With a plane landing.